there was a solar flare. So I hid, frightened, and so alone. And I found you. Get your elbows off the table. Get your elbows off the table. Alright, you're next. You see, I'm developing something interesting. A giant leap of fate. Robot must protect Doug. In this video, I will be building the head from the robot from the movie Finch and making it track my face in real time. Hi everyone and welcome to this video. I love robots and I won't come as a surprise to my viewers. But I'm also a big animal lover, especially dogs. I've grown up with dogs my whole life and now I own my first own dog, which is 7 months old at the moment. Now, some time ago I heard the news about a new movie that was coming out about an inventor in a post-apocalyptic world who built a robot to protect his dog. And I was getting excited already. Then I found out it was Tom Hanks starring as the main character and my excitement doubled instantly. Tom Hanks is one of my favorite actors of all time and I feel he performs his role so strongly and emotionally realistic that I've always admired him as an actor. Because of this combination of three I felt I couldn't resist to try to build the robot myself or at least the head of it. My concept was to design the head on a base. The head will be movable through a pan tilt system. For this I'll be using two Tower Pro MG996R servos. Inside the robot head I'm mounting a camera module that will be used for face tracking through machine vision. The module is an OpenMV Cam H7. It's a camera board with integrated microcontroller that runs machine vision software. It's basically a standalone board that can be used for all kinds of vision detection and recognition algorithms. In this project it will be running a face detection algorithm, which will output its data to an Arduino Uno. The actual head movements will be controlled by this Arduino. Check out my video about the OpenMV Cam, where I explain how it works and how to build a face tracking camera yourself. For the design, firstly I designed everything in Autodesk Inventor. The next step was slicing every part and prepare for 3D printing. There were quite a few printing hours in this one. Almost everything is printed at a 0.1 mm layer height at a very calm speed of 50 mm per second. All in standard PLA. And now follows a quick build montage.
the head tracking goes pretty smooth. The OpenMV cam is fairly accurate in detecting the face under decent lighting conditions. It really gives the impression that the robot is looking straight at you. It creates an almost natural effect. The only downside to my design I found is that the head is quite wobbly on the pan tilt system. The head is rather tall, while the base is small in diameter. This causes the center of gravity to be too high up. This combined with the small support surface of the bottom servo makes it rather unstable and tends to wobble. This could be solved by altering the pan system to an indirect drive. But all in all, I'm very satisfied with how this came out. I had a lot of fun building this one. If you want to build your own, the 3D STL files and their Arduino code are all available for you. If you subscribe to my Patreon as a microbot or a gigabot, you get exclusive access to all STL files, Arduino code, schematics and more of all the projects that I do. Check the link in the description below. If you just like what I'm doing and want to help support my channel, consider joining my Patreon as a nanobot to show your dedication and support. Thanks! That is it for this project. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to see more videos about robotics, electronics and automation. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.